Okay guys, the first thing we're going to look at is polynomial law and division. As you can see in our polynomial, we have not accounted for all the, ver or all the exponents, so we have to do that first. So this will have to become 2x to the 4th plus 3x cubed. Since we don't have a 2 as an exponent, we have to plug in 0x squared plus 5x minus 1. Now I've accounted for all my exponents going from our highest all the way down to 0. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And that's going to be divided by x squared minus 2x plus 2. Now all you're really going to divide everything by is x squared because that is the variable with the degree. So 2x to the 4 divided by x squared leaves you with 2x squared then you have to multiply it back down to uh, all three terms. So it gives you 2x to the 4th minus 4x cubed plus 4x squared. Then you have to make sure that you change all the signs. So that will become a negative, that's a positive, and this will become a negative. First term should always cancel out, and you're left with 7x cubed minus 4x squared, and you can bring down the 5x. So now you have to ask 7x cubed divided by x squared. That will leave you with 7x. Multiply that back down. You get 7x cubed minus 14x squared and then plus 14x. You know, once again, you have to change the signs. So it will be minus plus minus. First terms cancel out. That's going to give you 10x squared that's going to give you negative 9x. Okay, next, 10x squared divided by x squared, that's going to leave you with 10. Multiply that back down, you get 10x squared minus 20x plus 20. Then you have to change all the signs. So minus, plus, minus. Cancels out, that gives you 11x minus 21. Okay, 11x cannot be divided by x squared. So this is your remainder. So all you do for your answer is you take what was on top, 2x squared plus 7x plus 10, and then you add your remainder over your divisor, which was 11x minus 21 over x squared minus 2x plus 2. And that is your final answer. Now you can actually see it.